Welcome back to the channel. Today's video I want to show uh, how I make aluminum carb scoops. I know all the rage today is uh, Lexan see-through and I do like the way they look, I got to admit. Um, makes it easier to see the lights on the starting line. But what I don't like about them is if you do have a carb backfire or some kind of a fire, they melt. So uh, I was wanting, wanting to uh, experiment with one on my car last year. So I built one out of aluminum and we picked up three miles an hour and they just, uh, just putting it on. So I'll show you real quick the one that I built last year and then I'll get to my workbench and I'll go over how I, uh, how I work with the aluminum. All right, so this is the hood scoop I built last year. It's pretty basic, pretty simple. Bolts onto the car, onto the carburetor. And I'm gonna show you how I do it pretty easy. It can be done in steel. You can make it out of steel. I've made them out of steel before. When I first got into racing, I built them out of a 16 gauge sheet metal, which was a little heavy, but I didn't have the capabilities to weld aluminum at that time. So all I had was a MIG welder which was a flux core, actually, MIG welder. So I'm gonna show you how I do my layout and uh, we'll go from there. All right, so I typically build two styles. I build one like this. That's got a compound break in it. And I build one that's just completely rectangle, 90 degree, 90 degree bends. So, this here is my template for both. <clears throat> the brown line in the middle is for the uh, 90 degree break and the two orange ones are if I wanted to build the compound bend. So for this project we're just going to build the simple one 90 degree bends. This is my uh, template that I use for the base. All right, so I just got done cutting out my aluminum after I got it uh, traced out from the template. Uh, I simply, uh, I gotta stop saying simply too, don't I? But uh, I cut it out with a uh, handheld jigsaw, nothing crazy, metal blade on it. Uh, you don't really need a lot of fancy tools to do this. The professionals will tell you otherwise because you know, I mean, that's what they get paid to do. The next step, is to, I don't know if you guys can see this because of the light, but I got uh, two lines that I got to do a 90 degree break on. I do not think my metal break will bend it. Uh, this aluminum is 090, uh, 090 thick, 50-52 uh, grade aluminum. So it's, it's kind of tough. So what I usually do in these instances is I'll take a four and a half inch grinder with a cut wheel, get some soap on the, the cut wheel, that way it doesn't clog up and explode. And I will scribe about halfway through the thickness of the aluminum and then bend it over. And then I'll, I'll uh, do one inch stitch welds like every two inches apart all the way down to reinforce it so I don't have to worry about that. And then once I get to that point, we'll be working on the base, hopefully, if this all goes well. You guys will be the first to know. Uh, and uh, yeah, so far so good. So let's uh, move on. All right, just like I said, four and a half inch grinder. Just scribe the lines about halfway down. Now, as you bend it, you might have to grind a little bit more until you can get it to come around. So. I'm gonna start bending. All right, I'm ready to bend this. Hopefully she goes pretty easy. Oh, it's gonna be tough. All right, I got one side all bent up. So it got kind of hard trying to do the whole thing by hand. So I decided to go over to my Harbor Freight metal break and uh, I was able to get it to go around. Lucky me. So one more side to do guys. Moving along. 
All right, so I got the pan in place. I used blue dye cam underneath of it. I make those 3 sixteenths transfer, I don't know what you call them, transfer bolts. I take 3 sixteenths, cut them off, make a point in my drill with a grinder, and I thread them until they bottom out. Set the pan on, and then I use die cam, and I have four holes I can transfer. All right, see after I uh, drill those holes, uh, those transfer bolts pop right through, right where they need to be. All right, now that we've gotten this far, we're able to get bolts. We're able to get some bolts in here. So like now that we're able to get bolts in there next thing is going to be clean it up and glue it to the other side okay here's the fit up Now the part that I'm dreading is the actual welding of it. All right, I'm done welding the other side. That's the other side. And that's the first side. All right, just because I'm anal, I'm not trying to hide anything. I like to sand my welds down so that I get a nice beveled edge all the way around. It looks like one piece. So I'm not trying to cheat. I'm not trying to hide bad work. That's just the way I like things to look. So I'm gonna get the sanding. All right, as you can see, I've gotten the, uh, the back floor panel on and welded. Everything is sanded and blended. The only thing I wanna do now, for a little bit of uh, looks, so it doesn't look so boxy, is, uh, <clears throat> Put a little bit of rake to the front end. And what I mean by that is cut the front end on an angle. Take an inch off the bottom and just leave the top alone. That way it doesn't look so boxy. It sits on the car, it has a rake to it. That way it looks like, you know, it looks faster, sportier, hot rodier. Anyway, I'm gonna get to cutting. Nothing crazy. So, let's go see what it looks like on the car. All right, there it is on the car. Not much, not much left to do but to uh, put the bolts in. All right, so scoop is done. I'm happy with it. Uh, I think it looks real good. I have about four and a half hours into it and not very much money. I've only spent about $88 on materials. Uh, I bought two sheets of aluminum. I only used half to do one scoop. So, you know, if I can do it, anybody can do it. I really like to see people uh, get out in the shop and, and push themselves and see what they can do because it's not very hard. I think a lot of people could surprise themselves. So go down in the comments and let me know what you think. If you have any questions, ask away. I encourage it. Uh, you know, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Do all the stuff YouTube wants you to do. All right. Thanks.